Hello, and welcome to NTC News. I'm Emily Becerra, and thanks for joining us. The Speaker of the Student Senate Association is nominated for a second term. Christine Wang accepted the nomination after a unanimous decision on Sunday. President Trump has been in office for less than 20 days, but his presidency has been nothing short of eventful. The family and lawyer of David Dow, the passenger dragged out of the overbooked United flight, answered questions at a news conference this morning. You might notice some changes as you go to the bathroom at Atgeld Hall today. That's because four bathrooms are now all gender restrooms. In world news, the U.S. has dropped a large non-nuclear bomb in Afghanistan this morning. According to CNN, the United States dropped the bomb known as the mother of all bombs, targeting ISIS tunnels along with individuals in an eastern province of the country. Hello everyone, I'm Emily Becerra. It's an exciting time in the sports world, so let's get started. First off, the NIU women's golf team finished second out of 10 teams at the NCAA MAC Championships. The Huskies earned their second place spot over the Western Michigan Broncos by 13 strokes and were led by senior Lena Gutierrez, who placed seventh overall as an individual. Sophomore Kelly Anderson and junior Andrea Agneo also finished top 10 individually and contributed to the Lady Husky success. With the end of the season in view, head coach Kim Kester says she feels the team has found its stride in perfect time and hopes it's enough to qualify them into the regional tournament next week. The NIU women's tennis team earned the number five seed in the MAC Tennis Championships and will head to Muncie, Indiana to face the Miami of Ohio. This is the first time in the NIU women tennis team history that the team has made an appearance in the MAC Championship Tournament, and they are optimistic in their ability to face and defeat Miami. The winner of the Miami-NIU match will face the regular season champion Ball State University on Saturday. An NIU student could face three to seven years in prison after allegedly sexually assaulting a woman at NIU Stevenson Hall on Sunday morning. It's Mental Health Awareness Week, and students are doing their part to bring attention to the cause. Students will hand out lime green bracelets that say it's okay to not be okay, to let those with mental health issues know that they are not alone. The event will take place tomorrow from 11 to 2 p.m. at the Home Student Center. Kishwaukee College held a Veterans Day ceremony today. The free event featured opening remarks from the Kishwaukee College president as well as a presentation by Missy Minardi on the price of freedom. Attendees had an opportunity to honor and recognize veterans by posting a personalized star on display. Let's get started. The 2016 football season has been a stressful one for Husky fans, and now that the season looks to be over, Rod Carey's future as head coach may be in jeopardy. The Chicago White Sox held their own with a victory against the Royals at Guaranteed Rate Field yesterday. The 5-2 win can be attributed to the South Side's Jose Quintana, who had one earned run over six innings and 99 pitches, striking out 10, including seven in the first three innings. The Sox swept their American League central rival, making it the fourth straight White Sox victory. Starting tomorrow, the Sox will take on the Detroit Tigers, hoping to continue the streak. The NIU Police Department is partnering with Big Brothers and Big Sisters of DeKalb to help students build social skills. One of the programs is called Lunch Buddies, where officers have lunch with middle school students. Some schools that are involved are Clinton Rosette and Huntley Middle Schools in DeKalb. One NIU police sergeant says he gets involved because police are positive role models to students. Rachel joins us now to talk about her campaign and her plans as the new Student Association President. Hi Rachel, thanks for joining us. Thank you guys so much for letting me come onto your show today. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm great. It's, it's definitely been a crazy week, but happy it's all kind of settling down now. Yeah, congrats on your win. Um, you know, as you started off your campaign, how did you feel going into it? Was it a hard uh, journey or did you just uh, kind of decide to do it and went for it? Um, so I currently serve as the vice president of the student association actually. Um, so when it kind of came up around election season, um, I decided that I really wanted to try and run again. Um, I didn't really think that it would be, um, it, it was definitely a crazy experience and I never would have considered that I would actually be running for president my senior year. So. That's awesome. And so as a new president, um, what do you think your main goal is for the university or what is your main um, thing that you would like to focus on for NIU as a whole? DeKalb's new mayor-elect has some ideas on how to improve the connection between NIU and the DeKalb community. I went out to talk to the mayor-elect to hear his views on his new position. On April 4th, the DeKalb community voted NIU alum Jerry Smith to be the new mayor of DeKalb. Smith went to school at NIU in 1961, and he has lived in the DeKalb community ever since. 
As mayor, Smith will have a strong influence on the connection between DeKalb and NIU. He says that he wants to work with the university to increase enrollment and move the community forward. I want to be a part of the solution and I'd like to sit with the Board of Trustees, sit with anybody at the university uh, to first of all give a, uh, uh, a clear signal that DeKalb wants to be a partner with Northern as we move not only the city but the university forward. Smith's work as mayor-elect has already begun. He is in close contact with the current mayor, John Ray, and they are working hard to take the next steps as a community. Smith says he hopes to help fix some of Illinois' state budget problems. We have to realize that we are in a state that is in a, a state of chaos almost now as it, term, as it relates to budgeting. We have no budget. Uh, and this is shameful. Uh, it's disgraceful. Uh, it's something that none, none of us can be or should be proud of. Smith also wants to focus on the economic development of DeKalb as well as crime reduction. Mayor-elect Smith will officially take office on May 8th. It seems like Jerry is ready to take on the role and make some changes in the community. For a quick hit on football, the NFL draft starts tonight. NIU's Kenny Galladay has had chance at being drafted and is projected as a fifth round pick, while other Huskies like Levon Myers and Joel Bonyong will have to wait until Saturday for a pickup chance. The Cleveland Browns have a first overall draft pick with San Francisco with the second and our very own Chicago Bears with the third. The draft will continue out through Saturday. Let's look out for Kenny and the other Huskies and wish them good luck throughout the next couple of days. Continuing on the topic of basketball, the NIU men's basketball team is losing five players after this season. Senior Huskies Eric Armstead, Sean Damasca, and Marin Merrick will be graduating in May, while players Laetuan Porter and Marshawn Wilson were released from the program. Porter was most recently released on March 8th by coach Mark Montgomery after two suspensions in the same year and a charge with the possession of marijuana following a traffic stop. Suspicions are rising after both of these sophomore guards were released after just one bad year by coach Montgomery. And um, Juliana, we know that you did a lot of the interviewing process as well and you were with Randy interviewing the students. and. We just wanted to know, you know, how did you enjoy the interviewing experience? Did you enjoy getting to know the subjects? Well, it was definitely a different experience for me. It was um, sort of the first project I'd really produced on. Reporter Emily Becerra has more. The 70 degree weather was a perfect way to celebrate Earth Day. The DeKalb Park District took advantage of the warmth this weekend and cleaned up DeKalb's Prairie Park. Members of the DeKalb community gathered to pick up trash and clean up the river in the park. Executive Director of the DeKalb Park District, Amy Dahl, says she loves this event because it brings recognition to the landscapes in DeKalb. I think parks bring people together and it's really about creating a quality of life and building a community and parks are kind of where that happens and this event is part of that because it brings community members and college students kind of together in the same, in the same space and they're taking care of what is, it's, it's their park. Um, and it's everybody taking care of it together. Not only was it Earth Day, but it was also NIU's Care Day. Students from the organization joined in on the fun and helped clean up the river. NIU Cares Day allows students from NIU to give back to the community and help keep campus a beautiful place. NIU student Vanessa Saldana says she loves getting involved and helping out NIU. Um, it makes me feel really great, like I'm making a difference. Um, normally you don't really get an opportunity to really um, go to different sites around the community, so NIU Care Days allows you to do that, and that's really great. DeKalb Park District also has multiple days to help clean up other parks. For NTC News, I'm Emily Becerra. After relieving pitcher Emma Ray, Thacker only allowed two hits and struck out eight batters. The Huskies were quick to make up the lost runs with a home run by Katie Grable and big hits from sophomores Dom Greeno, Abby Hallett, and Jenny Van Geertree. NIU came out on top with a 7-4 win and then followed with another win in the second game. NIU softball hopes to sweep again when they play at home against the Eastern Michigan Eagles this weekend. During their midweek game, the NIU baseball team fell to the Minnesota Golfers. The Huskies played well against the Big Ten teams with big hits from Scooter Bynum and Samuel Vega, but it wasn't enough to bring them out on top. Despite pitching errors from freshman Nate Thomas, relief pitchers Will Anderson, Andrew Frankenreiter, and Ryan Blanton all pitched well, 
with Anderson pitching four out of the six relief innings. Frankenreiter took the loss after giving up his run on two hits, leaving the final score 3-2. to two. Next, the Huskies will take on Ball State Cardinals this weekend at home. That's all for sports. Make sure to support the NIU women's softball team this weekend as they take on the Zips. And as always, go Huskies. Let's send it back to the desk.